It's time to talk about Cyprus and Scotland. Group A. Scotland, of course, four wins from four. We take on Cyprus. It is the only uh, match day, Euro qualifying day of the, the game of the two-week period. International, blah, blah, blah. Because, of course, the other game is against England. But we're here to talk about Cyprus. We're here to talk about this game. Uh, they a quick wee match preview. Of course, we know what the squad is. We know what's going to realistically happen. And, and if we win this game, it's pretty much, you know, guaranteed, isn't it, folks? I mean, it pretty much is. Um, I know that, that if we win this game, with three games left, away to Spain, home to Norway, and then away to Georgia, pretty much if you just beat Cyprus and Georgia, you're through, and you don't have to worry about the other two games. But... But, but before we get into that, I'm going to pick my team. And in Nets, I'm going to go with Angus Gunn. Um, I just don't think Liam Kelly or Sandra Clark are ever going to start when Angus Gunn is there. That's just the Steve Clark way. Uh, left centre-back, I'm going to go with Kieran Tierney, of course. Recently joined Real Sociedad on loan, made his debut. Um, left wing-back, we are going to go with... Um, Andy Robertson and I'll be honest right obviously we're playing you know it's free at the back with the full backs right and I understand but we're away to Cyprus people would probably like a back four you know a bit more of attacking but you know what we've got four wins out of four I'm not going to fucking bury Steve Clark um, for, for no real reason uh, but the two centre back partnerships alongside Kieran Tierney now who is going to be starting this game for me uh, I think there only is really... Well, there's four. Suter, Portis, McKenna, Hendry. Suter's been really shit this season, but I know I'm going to stick him in. I'm going to stick Suter and McKenna in, and that is going to be my... Well, not my defence, because I think I need to pick the next player... And I am going to pick Aaron Hickey. I know, I know some people might want Patterson in there, but for me, that is probably as strong as a back line as yeah, I would say Rangers <laughs> as Scotland are, as Scotland's going to get for me. Obviously, I think you know with Hendry or Portis, you know they improve in their form. That's in they had bad form, but for me, I think as a peak Scotland team, that is our best back five. And um, but I'm not saying you know, over time can Hendry. Or, I mean, and it's not saying, like, if Hendry and Portia start this game over Suter and McKenna, I'm fucking raging, I'm throwing toys at the pram. For me, you know, that is the strongest possible back five. Into our midfield trio. And here we go. I'm going to go with... Lewis Ferguson. Surprise. Shockeroonie. Is it? Who knows? In that middle, I'm going to go with Billy Gilmore. And then I'm going to go with John McGinn. And that's not me being biased as a Rangers fan and not putting Cal McGregor in there. But Cal McGregor's not a good start to the season, right? He was given the entire space of fucking Ibrox, right? Rangers made McGregor look great in that game, right? And he's had a really poor start to the season. And for me, I like going on form, right? And I want to go... I like going on form when he's picked John Sutter. <laughs> You're having a giraffe, big man. Um, right, anyway, but McGinn, Gilmore, Ferguson, that's what I would go for uh, in there. Striker positions, I am going to go for Lyndon Dykes and Lauren Shankland. That is my team. Shankland, I know, missed a couple of good chances against Motherwell, but I think he's been pretty much the only shining light in that Hearts team this season, whether or not he's been scoring offside goals or not. <laughs> Um, that is pretty much what I've went for. I think that is the team that Steve Clark. I mean, that is. I think any eleven that we pick at the squad available should realistically still be beating Cyprus. But I think you pick that team, man. And how we're we going to lose? Of course, Steve Clark's side will be looking to maintain their hundred percent record with a victory in Cyprus on Friday. But who would be in your eleven? There's my eleven. What do you guys think? Um, it could be the second consecutive European Championships. For Scotland, and it could be in sight. Hopefully, man, really looking forward to watching this game. And I hope Scotland can put a smile on my face because Rangers are not doing that at the minute, guys. But anyway, that is it for this match preview. Be back very soon with more content. I'll put up more polls, have you guys react to things, etc., etc. And who knows, maybe Rangers will go ahead and sign a few free agents and maybe cheer us up a wee bit, lift us a wee bit. But you know, it's a Scotland preview, and you know, Steve Clark's got his fire on all cylinders, man. And I'm expecting good things for this game and everyone else should be as well. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below and until next time, that is it here on Fog 
Fog football. Thanks, Stevie. Cool. Come on.